This is another video related to Divi. Most people get the Boulder timeout error. And although the usual solution is that um, you have to disable all your plugins except the Divi theme, um, and then check if you still have problems with the Boulder, other than obviously being up to date, um, there is actually something else that you need to do. And I will show you exactly what that is. This video is um, basically just a video on a post that I had done on my website, on my blog, um, about this issue. The values are also on the Elegant Theme support form. It's not as if I um, figured them out myself or did something magical. It's just most people can't um, seem to find the values or they are just um, <clears throat> they just haven't figured out how to do it so I'm gonna show you how to do it at least in cPanel environment because my host has cPanel so first thing you need to check obviously is that you have PHP 7 and MySQL 5.6 and then Modri Write. Now on cPanel, usually Modli Write is on, but I'll show you how to make sure that it's there. So let's start. First of all, I'm in cPanel. You might have another theme, so it might be different, but you should find similar things. I'm gonna open these two windows, just so you can see what they are. I'm gonna use a client site just to show you exactly um, what I patch in, and it's based on the values that I've got in this little article of mine. So, um, <clears throat> just so you uh, get a feel, let's start. Now, when I clicked on the PHP version manager, it took me something like this. These are all, you know, subdomains I have and stuff. I can define which PHP version I want. I'm deciding to use this client site as an example. It's, uh, it's just one that I just did and I haven't set them yet. So, <clears throat> uh, I can say, let's say 7.1. I don't really care which one it is, so long as it's 7 something. I can save. <clears throat> it does what it has to do, that's fine. Uh, to be honest, I think I clicked the wrong domain, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm just showing you either way, but it's fine. So, uh, his actual domain is this one because he changed the name. So, anyway, let's try this again 7.1, whatever. I could do anything else. I'm just doing that though. That's one. Now, the other thing, and you can tell now that he's got um, 7 1 because obviously you can tell that this has come up. So it's fine. We're closing this. Now we're in the. Now we need to go to more like the PHP variable manager. In the cPanel, so variable manager here, and I want to affect the variables for the domain. Not this one, this one. So, um, first of all, we start adding the variables. So, <clears throat> this is again from the Elegant Themes blog, but I just have it handy here, so it's. Post max size 128. I'm just going to do it like at the max. So I'm going to click add here 128m. Be careful that you have to type exactly what it says. Now, uh, what else do we need? We need upload max file size. So upload max file size. I can add that and say 128m again. Then I keep adding whatever I'm reading off my actual post, max input time 600. This is shared hosting, so um, guys uh, will see that I uh, can't change every variable, but I can change the ones that I need to for Divi. <clears throat> max input time was 600, VARS was 3000. 600, max 
input voltage was keep adding and I think it was 300 you can use 3000 you can obviously make these values higher, higher if you're allowed to but you won't need to because these are actually already too high now the php memory limit on my server is already there this is usually host related so um you don't need to change it via php uh and i don't think that on share hosting i even have the ability to do that oh i could oh, okay i didn't have that before so my memory limit should be 128 right so the important part here is that you um actually tick apply changes to subdirectories because if you don't well then it's not gonna work when you do that and you save and you don't have any errors you'll get a screen like this and you'll see now that if i go back into it it's got a nice little uh php in here right next to it um and the values should be there you can double check i'm just looking for the domain there it is and that means that these are set and we did actually set them on subdomain subdomain so subdirectory so it's fine now um the other thing you need to do obviously is via ftp go to the domain and make sure that you have this ht access directory that you need now um so what is this? There it is. <clears throat> so If you check, there's a PHP file here, and you'll see that the values are the ones that we entered in the uh, actual uh, C panel little, what do you call it? The C panel's little uh, UI. <laughs> it's got two extra, you know, variables, but those are from uh something else from the actual server settings that need to be there so the next thing you need to check is ht access as you can see i'm gonna just view it if you don't have an ht access file i'll show you how to make one you don't have to do it manually you're in wordpress so it does automatically generate itself but and the generated one looks something similar to this obviously the set environment path would be a bit different depending on where you were and all the um, PHP stuff, but mainly this here is actually the same. So anyway, what I need to add next is this piece of code just in case you keep getting timeouts. And obviously this is done only if after disabling plugins and stuff you still have the error of the builder keeps um, not loading so this is my uh, code editor so there's nothing magical about it and obviously I should be very careful From what I'm typing, but I, I paste it off my own site and I grab something else that I shouldn't have. So that should be it. And then I can save the changes. Press Control S, that's why you don't see me go anywhere, which is basically saving any kind of software. If you're on a Mac, it's uh, Command S, obviously, but the site. You will see in a second. 
Just gonna log in so I can actually enable the builder so you can see. That it doesn't have the builder timeout error. I had to actually do this on my hosting um, after a specific TV update. I don't remember exactly which one it was, but at some point I had to do that. So um, I'm forced to do this every time I start a new site. So now you also know what to do. On your host, it might be different. And assuming your host isn't using Podchain, it's using NX, um, NX, Genix, whatever it's called, <laughs> um, you might need to change the directive slightly, but the basic idea is the same. And as you can see, my builder has now fully loaded and I can fool around with anything. I'm not going to the site stand, but that's about it. Uh, hope this helped anyone. If you have suggestions on videos you want me to make related to Divi problems, just sort of try and explain the problem so that I can replicate it and then maybe make a related video if I have a fix for you.